Before we start the video, the winner of the 106 Max Legendary perk, or Betsy, is Neskov. So check your Epic Games friend request when this video is live, and I'll get this to you as soon as possible. So this week I'm going to be giving away the Dragon's Roar. I've not got the perks completely full yet, but hopefully this time next week I'll have max legendary perks on it. I'll try for that anyway. So what it is, is a semi-automatic assault rifle. Rifle with modest fire rate and capacity penetrates numerous enemies and sets them on fire. So really, this weapon has about, I think it's 8 perks, but 2 of them you can't change. Because it has affliction as you can see from the bottom there, it says fire damage is effective against nature and it sets them on fire, I'll show you, I'll craft this now let's find some husks to... so quickly, look, there is no affliction thing, it's fire damage, durability damage, damage to afflicted targets and headshots cause an explosion, but watch this, you shoot a horse never mind, I've just ended up doing that there you see, affliction damage does proc, let's see how good it works oh, fire enemies that's great. Let's just see how well it works on the taker and the blaster. Um, it's, uh, my act is very rusty. So, it's doing alright. Headshots explode the husk if you kill him on a headshot. And he pretty much shreds through anything, really. I think I feel like I'm getting a bit of lag spike here. Right, we've been looking around for ages. I also saw his water husks, but I finally found some nature ones, but look, the penetration as well I don't know how far the range is, let me see if we can train them see how far it works, here we go Ooh, there's a lot around here but it's a basically a one shot for most of these husks because the affliction will just kill them anyway like so I don't need to waste too much ammo on these mobbers. Whoa, my, I'm lagging a bit. Get them. Now, it's not great to use fire on a water husk. Let's see how fast I can get the fire rate. Yeah, it is decent. Right, I finally found a smasher. Now, I just want to see how well this does against it. Uh, this is semi-auto, so I'm having to tap fire this. But yeah, it kills it fairly fast. Well, it took a clip, but I did have to tap fire it. Oh, water enemies again. There's another encampment up here. I'll try and do that. If it's water, though, no point. Nature, please. Kills them. Ah, oh, fire. There you go. My accuracy is so bad right now. There we go, encampment done. Let's try some blasters again. Probably should have built this with headshot damage, but... No, well, it, it works well. So, headshot, explosion, basically does a lot of damage in that tile. Affliction as well, amazing. I've also noticed that... Okay, I need a higher level enemy. But if you headshot an enemy and they die to the affliction, that also counts as a... A headshot so they explode as well. It's quite dumb. But if you watch this, watch the affliction. Normally it's six seconds. This is only three. It's only three seconds of the built in affliction to this weapon. Compare the damage per shot like this Dragon's Raw, 12,600. Compared to a Siege Break, it's got extra 4,000 damage per shot. It's a slower DPS because the fire rate is a bit slower because it is semi auto, but. It's a lot more damage per shot if you've got a good trigger thing. Have a nature smasher. Let's have a go at this. Dead. Oh, a load of nature enemies. Affliction takes care of most of them as well. A load of nature smasher. Dead. And the penetration as well. Look at that. A two in one shot. That's really good. More nature. 
Oh yeah, explosions as well. See, it just killed all those though. With penetration, I think those bubbles that the. Not the shielders, those big bubbly shielders, I don't know what they're called. Were you able to shoot through them, maybe? Oh no. Oh no, that's mine. No, you don't. Oh, I thought you'd be able to. War weakening nature epic plus. Go. Easy. There we go. Easy. You went pretty fast. Ooh, what's this? A perk cache. I think that's a rare perk cache. Thank you. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I need a craft supply. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> so you won in the combat. It was me. And I don't even think I was the highest power. I think that guy next to me was power like one above me. But still, I used that one weapon. Highest power. I mean, not highest power. Highest combat score. Well, for a quick summary, it has a lot of damage per shot. Don't get this confused with DPS as in damage per second, because that includes fire. But this, the damage per shot, had four thousand more than my siege breaker, and that doesn't even have max. It doesn't have max perks yet. The siege breaker does, but it is tap fire as well. I, I'm not a fan of tap fire weapons. Just got it's just a trigger finger. I'd rather just hold down or do a burst. But that's about it. But I'm also giving away this weapon for next week. And I'll try and have most legendary perks. Now all you've got to do is comment your epic games name and power level in the comment section. And you'll be chosen in the next video.